Hello again, Lutra FM back with another episode of Bike Club Pro TW 2020. Um, last episode, we basically had the devastating news that Mark Andrews is leaving us at the end of his contract, which is in the game in about, um, we're in week three of the month. By the end of the month, he's gone. So we've got two afterburn episodes where we could drop the title. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm trying to I'll figure out as I'm going along. As usual, I don't really pre-think these pre and pre-think these things. As I say, I just go. I do it live because I feel like it gives a better a way of playing. I'm doing it in my brain at the moment at the time. So hopefully that will come across better to you. If you prefer me to be a bit more pre-organized, let me know in the comments section. I'll try and do a bit more of that. Um, but yeah. What we'll do in a sec, once I finish with the intro, is crack on with the first bit. But I just want to say quickly, thank you to everyone for your continued support. Um, watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting, it's always appreciated. So anyway, right, I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back. We've got Afterburn now. Um, we've got one backstage incident involving Megan Rain. Hopefully it's a good one. Ah, yeah, it is. Yeah, so Megan Rain lifted the locker room. When a silly game she created quickly become very popular backstage. So that's nice. It's good that we're getting all these positive ones. Because for a while we were just getting nothing but negative stuff. Right. Um, what we're going to do first match is obviously pre-show match. Um, Gates of Destiny. We'll give them a bit of a rub. So we've got Toa Leona and Khan. I've also realised on the database for some reason there's two Khans and two Tony um, Toa Leonas. So I'm trying to sign the others. Hopefully maybe they'll be better than the ones I've got now. And I can release the rubbish ones, but we'll see. Uh, Mail. And then we'll go we'll go Carlito. They won't be happy about this, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you've got to make the sacrifice. Where is he? Uh What's his name? Primo, isn't it? Oh, I put Eddie, didn't I? No, not Primo. Oh, right, I don't know. Let's try here, tag teams. Uh, okay, we haven't got the colons anymore. I can't, I don't know why. I think one of the colons is injured. So we'll go with the Bounty Hunters. Actually, no, I don't want to sacrifice. Uh, we'll go pretty deadly. Oh, we can't go pretty deadly. This is so annoying. Uh, right. Mm, already done Generation X. I don't want to sacrifice Kamikaze or POD. All the Avengers. Avengers? Uh, no, because Calvin's still injured. Don't want to sacrifice. Oh, we're struggling here. Right. Um, Khan and Terrellona. We'll go keep strong. Actually, they won't do that because it always affects the match rating. Um, even though it's a pre show, I still want to get a good match rating for that. Uh, and, the, and the Marauders are right with that, they're not, they haven't kicked off, so that's good, right? So, first match do is Levi Muir. Squash match, him opening the show. We'll have him against Chris Hero, I think. 15 minutes. Levi Mule winning. Let's keep it simple. Yep, that's fine. I'll do the interview afterwards. Actually, we'll just do him attacking Chris Hero after the match. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can uh, get Levi Moore and, Bu and Blue Kane as the top uh, top performers in the company. That's the aim, is to get them to the top, really. Right, let's do a women's match now. I'll do triple threat, I think. Ginny. Uh, Kaylee Ray. Bobby Taylor. Tyler, sorry. Our three best women's workers. 
what we'll do is we'll do 20 minutes we'll go still the show i just want to see if this actually goes well uh and the women's match the women put on a great match uh we'll leave it blank we'll leave it we'll leave it to the ai to decide we'll just do a microphone angle first before the match like so i was quite impressed how quick i did that then usually i'll cock up right so we've done 51 minutes we can do one more match um we'll do a four-way match we'll have mark andrews heavyweight title on the line we'll leave it to the ai as well so a male um who are we going to put in there who's the is calvin i don't think calvin tantman is red he's i think he's still injured so we'll have kid lycos to um who else who else thomas billington and we'll have rich swan and then do 20 minutes for that um we'll do, do should we do once i'm gonna take a chance here i'm gonna once in a lifetime oh i can't do once in a lifetime okay should we try epic let's try epic um i've never done epic before so we'll figure it out i'm gonna go all out match uh yeah uh i've gone too far i've done, done too much um i just need to change this as well Need to put this as an all-out match now it might not work if i've got two all-out matches in one show it probably won't work very well but we'll see right so we've done 74 minutes we've got a knock off um i'll tell you what we'll just leave this as a normal match 15 minutes yeah we'll just knock it down 15 minutes actually and then we need to still knock four minutes off oh well done um in fact, I'll just knock four minutes off this. Might work out better. Right, that's that. So, right, let me just check everything's okay. So we won't be penalised. That's good. Right. Crack on with the show. Right, so the tag team match got 65 rating. Gates Destiny beat on. Um, <clears throat> my voice is so croaky this morning. Sorry, everybody. Uh, Khan is the better one out of the two. And uh, Mike Bird was a stand-up performer, but, you know, like I said, we're pushing Gates of Destiny as best as we can. Uh, 51 match rating, which is not that good, but it's all right. It'll do. Levi Moore defeat Chris Hero in 11 minutes by submission. Uh, Levi Moore was actually the better worker out of the two. So that's good. And then the angle afterwards got a 38. Uh, women's angle got 58 rating. I forgot to keep forgetting to script Ginny. I need to do that next time. At least Bobby Tyler did well off script. So the match deserved better colour commentating. But we got a 78, which ain't too bad. I mean, if it was longer, probably would have gotten better rating. Yeah, Kaylee Ray retains her title, makes her first defence. Um, Kaylee Ray was the weaker link out of the three. Ginny obviously being the stand-up performer, but Bobby Tyler nearly matching her. And then the main event in an exceptional match, Mark Andrews retains the title, defeating um, Kid Like Us 2, Tommy Spillington and Rich Swan. So Mark Andrews makes defence number 11. So that means we got to take the title off him at the next Afterburn episode. Um, and I will have to probably force somebody to beat him basically because if I leave it to the AI, they're probably just going to have Mark Andrews retain all the time. So who was the standout? See, Kid Lycos 2 got an 85 rating. Um, so he was the, other than Mark Andrews, who was the best performer. So we'll see what I do there. But yeah, 79 rating. We, we uh, didn't improve the popularity anywhere, but we got a 72 rating, 109 people, which is the standard for Afterburn. So not too bad. Um, and then when I come back in a second, 
I'll have the next episode of Afterburn. We're back, but we have some very sad news. So I got an inbox item here. They begrudged me the opportunity to play this out perfectly with Mark Andrews losing the title and then the next Afterburn show. I wanted him to have like a, a match to say goodbye to the fans. Um, unfortunately, he's injured for three months with a dislocated shoulder. Um, so I'll just quickly show you on the medical side here. So two months and three weeks, sorry. But yeah, not good at all as I wanted. I don't know what I'm going to do now with this Afterburn show. I've obviously got to vacate the title because Mark Andrews is going anyway. So we'll just vacate the title here. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to do a four-way match in the main event of Afterburn. And we're going to crown a new champion. Um, I'm thinking I'll have a think. I'll have a think while I'm starting the show. Anyway, backstage incidents: Puma King, Ricky Steamboat. Ricky uh, Puma King was brought before the rest of the court, accused of being an hour late to pick up his assigned travel partner. The judge, Ricky Steamboat, found him guilty and sentenced him to pay for the travel ex uh, partner's meals for the next few shows, which is fair enough. Perfectly acceptable punishment. So right, so what we're going to do here first is we'll do. Um, we'll just do three way tag match. Um, we won't, we won't, we'll do, we'll put Gates of Destiny in there. Gates of Destiny? I think Gates of Destiny, they're called Gate, Gates of Destiny, aren't they? Yeah, Gates of Destiny. We'll have them there. And then what we'll do, we'll put the Marauders in there. And we'll put Totally Tremendous in there. And then. What we'll do is, I think we will actually have them win. We'll have them win. So that's that. So we'll do that as the pre-show match. And then we'll do an angle with them on the mic. Hopefully we'll get them more popular. Uh, they're on the mic more. That's what we've got to hope for. We'll script them there. Just to be on the safe side. I uh, forgot to pre do that as a pre-show. There you go, like so. So, and then what we'll do now is we'll have the first match. We'll have an eight-way singles. Well, I believe I'm Muir in there with. We should have him in there with. Um, we've got him making his debut. I've, I've signed a few other wrestlers, but I'll go through them as we go along. Um, I don't think Shane Mercer's had a match. Or, actually, I think he wrestled the other time, but we'll leave us up for now. And da, 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 let's see who else I've signed that can bring in. Nathan Martin. We'll swap him. Um, I just tried to look at that. I know Leighton Buzzard's wrestled a few times, but we'll put him in this match. Uh, uh, actually, no, we won't, because he'll complain losing to Levi Mule. Uh, we'll put Commander in there instead. Um... What was I saying? I lose track all the time. Oh, I don't know. I've got two Khans now. I think I've got Bishop Khan and, and uh, Normal Khan. Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ballyman Bruiser. He hasn't wrestled with him with Commander. Just trying to see who else is on here. Oh, Eddie Colan's available now. Dave Stevenson, we signed him recently. Um, I'll put Gringo Loco in there because he's a pretty good worker anyway. Uh, Joseph Connors hasn't wrestled for a while, so we'll put him in there. And we'll put Kelly Six in there as well, just to get uh, a better match rating. And what I believe I'm Norwin. That's fine. Nobody's happy with this. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be paying out, uh, paying a few wrestlers to keep them happy after this show. That's the first match, and then what we'll do is, mm, sorry, forgot to do this first. <clears throat> My voice is so croaky. I'm so sorry. Right. Microphone. We'll just have him on a microphone on his own. Right. Next match. 
Um, do a four-way singles women's match. So we'll have Kaylee Ray, Bobby Tyler, Ginny, and then who else we're we going to put in there? Mal, no Jetta. We'll put Jetta in there. I'll actually know Rio because Rio's leaving soon, so we'll just put her in there. Uh, we'll have Kaylee Ray retain this. We don't want to keep swapping the titles over. We'll do 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, and then we're going to have the main event of... I'm trying to think of the... Actually, I'll do the match first, then I'll do the angle afterwards. So we'll do a four-way singles for the heavyweight title. So we'll have... Uh, Kid Lycos 2. Thomas Billington. Um, I've got our truth by the way. But I don't want to put him in this match in case he ends up having a rubbish match. Ruining the match rating. So he'll make his debut at some point soon. Oh, we've also signed this guy called Snare as well. Uh, we'll put Calvin Tankman in this one. He's back, he's back now from injury. Um... Who else do we put in here? Leighton Buzzard, maybe. Rich Swan. So this will be interesting because we haven't got Mark Andrews in this match. So we know there's going to be a new champion. And what we're going to do is we're going to go 20 minutes if it lets us. We'll go steal the show. Open match. Call that match. So we've gone seven we've gone seven minutes over. If we just actually we'll just change this to fifteen. And then change this one. Twelve. Uh do we need to do I oh know we won't oh we would be penalised. Oh great. So we've gone I'll do an angle now. Uh Right, I'll hit hit my cost to microphone, Rich Swan, microphone oh microphone. Who else is in the main event? Thomas Billington. Microphone. Who was the last one? Calvin. We'll script all these just to be on the safe side. So we've got to figure out what we're going to do here. Um, we're going to have to take time out of this one. 10 minutes. Still over. Still over by 5 minutes. Uh, I can't get rid of the angles. This one, this match is already 2 minutes. I suppose we can do that 10 minutes now. Um... Ah, hold on, we can change the angle here. There you go. That's fine. We still won't be penalised. Right, let's start the show. Sorry about that. Been all over the place. You know what I'm like with my booking style. It is a bit scatterbrained at times. So, yeah, against Destiny won the triple threat tag team match. Um, standout performer was Mike Bird. And the left was got a 38. Levi Muir defeated all these wrestlers here. Let's see if there's anybody who stands out. Been well, Nathan Martin's got an 84, so he's one for the future. That's good. Um, Ballymun Bruiser got a 73, but again, I think he was using a better match. Um, probably got a better rating. Kelly Six got a 79, and uh, Joseph Connors got an 84, so that's really good. So I forgot about, I keep forgetting about Joseph Connors. Maybe Joseph Connors as a heel champion in the future. If he can get an 84 performance, then he definitely can uh, do his bit to consistently have good matches. How did Gabe Stevenson do? I don't think he did very well, did he? 66, not too bad. Yeah, Angle afterwards got a 48, Levi Mule. And then the uh, women's triple, oh, sorry, four way match. Um, we got a 77 rating. Everybody, we've got an 80 ish. That's good. 
uh, the pre the main event angle got 57 who's the champion then Thomas Billington get in that's who I actually wanted to win um, Thomas Billington's our new champion everybody so hopefully we'll give him a decent run and if it doesn't work out we know we've got other people that can step up but yeah Kid Lycos maybe Kid Lycos chasing Thomas Billington for the title maybe a few months down the road they can have a big match together but yeah Thomas Billington 85 Calvin when he got 75 which is a shame uh, Rich Swan got an 82 Maybe Calvin Tankman is not as good as I thought. Maybe he he is decent, but not up there at the main event level. He'd be good, like a good mid card wrestler. Got an eight three rating. So how did the show do overall? We didn't improve the popularity. We got a seventy seven rating, and we got one hundred twelve people in. Uh, not too bad considering I had to literally just try and figure that out as I was going on because Mark Andrews. In my head, I was actually had something planned with Mark Andrews. Losing to um, either Thomas Billington or Kid Lycos. I was going to figure it out as I was booking the show, but because he got injured, I kind of had to just throw in a four way match. Um, next show I'll do on here, I'll put our truth in the match, see if he's any good in the ring. Um, but we've got we've got Nathan Martin, who's pretty good. Joseph Connors is pretty good as well. Calvin Tanton's decent enough. So it's good that we're, we're figuring out who the good workers are and not. Um, we might have got ourselves a hidden gem in Nathan Martin. One thing I never think to do is um, look at my scouts and see who they recommend. So I might do that in a second when this finishes. See if they recommend anyone worth signing. Wait for this to finish first. Seems like it does take a while. I got a new laptop um, yesterday. I haven't had a chance to transfer everything over yet. So I'll be doing that. So next episode you see it should be a better one. I tried to go for him. He was the top. He was number one in the hundred, uh, the five hundred best wrestlers, but he won't come to us. Uh, Chris Saban is relocated to the Midlands. Right, let's have a quick look before I forward it to the next show. Um, creative. Let's see. Next big things. No hidden gems. There we go. Right, Scott E F six. No, I don't think he'd be good enough. Ethel. Ethan, sorry, Alan, maybe. Maybe sign him. We'll sign him and give him a, a match in the next show. Danny Duggan's only 33, so he's probably pretty good as well. Uh, we'll leave CJ Connors. We'll leave Lloyd Cat. Right then, I'll be back in a minute with the next Afterburn episode. So the uh, the bad news gets worse and worse, everybody. So not only do we lose Mark Andrew, who's officially left, um, we've lost Bobby Tyler as well, which I'm really not happy about. Red Pro Red Pro's nicked to office um, on a permanent deal, so we can't even get him in on a paper appearance deal. So that's the women's division completely screwed. I mean, we've still got Ginny and Kaylee Ray, but they can't carry the division on their backs um rio's leaving soon as well so it's uh it's not good but um i'll have a look offline and try and bring in some more women's wrestlers that can compete um but we've still got Riho, still got kaylee ray still got Ginny, still got jazz still got gulia so it's not too bad but bobby tyler was like a hidden gem that i didn't even know about and she um she was really good while we had her but unfortunately we can't keep these wrestlers forever. We've got to constantly keep um, trying to get new wrestlers in. Let's try and... No, not Nicole Matthews. Um, Gulia. Get Gulia in there. All right, 15 minutes. So this will be the um, first match to kick off the show. Um, I'm not doing any pre-show match today. Uh, do enough, we'll do a four-way match. We'll put Levi Muir in there. Who do we have him against? Cara Noll. The young lad in wrestle for a while, so we'll put him in there. Um, oh, yeah, our truth We'll put our truth Oh, no, we won't put our truth in this match. What am I on about? Put Eddie Dennis in there. I wish he would let me 
drank properly. It's so annoying. Right, Eddie Dennis. And then we'll put Griff Garrison in there as well. So I'm not too bothered about Griff. Oh my God, this is so irritating. There we go. Yep, that's fine. It is what it is. Um, we do an angle with Levi Muir on the mic. Put himself over after the match. Um, all way tag team match because we haven't had the tag titles defended for a while. Uh, that one, that one, that one. There we go. All right, so we'll put EOD, uh, Pretty Deadly, Kamikaze, and we'll put Gates of Destiny in there. Oh, we can't put Pretty Deadly in there, that's fine. What am I doing? Uh, right. uh, Marudas, they can go in there. And then we'll have... Uh, we'll, we'll have Ashton's... We'll have them retain them, because I haven't really... I don't know whether to pull the trigger on... Kamikaze as tag champions. I just not, at the moment they're not good enough to carry the belts in the ring. So I think that's the problem we've got. Our referee can't be. Right, I think that's all right as the, the show. Just want to check. That's fine. So Kaylee Ray retains the title. The match got an 82. Um, Kaylee Ray only got a 77. Ginny got an 85. Valkyrie got a 70 and Gooley got a 76, so that's good. So Gooley could probably take Bobby Tyler's place, really. She's not as good, but she's still good enough to have a decent match. And then there's obviously Valkyrie as well. Levi Moore defeated Cara Noir, Eddie Dennis, and Griff Garrison. Got a 75 rating, which is really good, mostly because, oh, Cara Noir got an 83. That's, uh, that's one to keep an eye on them. Then we can push Cara Noir as another singles. See, we're getting a lot of decent men's workers now, but we're just not getting enough women's workers. I need to, I need to do some scouting. I need to bring some women into bolster the vision up. Griff Garrison was the weak link. Levi Moore wasn't much better, but he was all right. Levi Moore's a project at the end of the day at the moment, similar to Kamikaze. So uh, POD returned the tag titles, and that got a seventy-two rating. Rampage Brown was the standout performer, seventy-nine. That's that. So yeah, a show increased the popularity in one region, which is good. Overall rating is 71 and we got 111 people in. So that's a decent afterburn episode. Um, I'll just wait for this to finish because I'm just curious how many more shows we've got until the big event. I think we've still got a fair way to go yet. Uh, I'll just wait for this to load up. But yeah, Cara Noir, Nathan Martin, they're ones that we can put in the mix with like Kelly Six, Kid Like Us Two. So we've got we've got quite a few male wrestlers that can get like an in-ring performance at 80. But at the moment they're not um let's have a this. You've been awarded an extra point to spend on user talents. Oh okay, that's good. Right. Uh user talents, I can't remember how I do this. No, uh, not that one. Is it that one? No, uh, is this one? Hold on. Uh, is it that? No. Is it that? No, it's not that. Um, I'll figure it out. Let me know in the comment section. I'll probably figure it out before then, but let me know how I, how I can update from here. It must be on here somewhere. I just can't. I can't. I don't know why I can't figure it out. I don't know. Right. So we've got another Afterburn episode in six days. Um, so and then we've got the the main the, the main show the main events of the month. Big strong boys in eleven days. So I'll be back in a minute with the next Afterburn, and we're back. Um, I've managed to bring in 
Um, Rey Mysterio as a road agent because he retired. I tried to convince him to have another run, but he weren't having it. And Blue Kane has a new manager. Um, Blue Kane's new manager, if I can find him, is Kane himself. I also tried to get Kane to come out of retirement for another run, but he didn't want to know. So I said, well, can you be a manager? And he was like, yeah. So Kane as new manager of Blue Kane. Blue Kane is going to get a singles push now. Uh, the tag team of Kamikaze is no more. Sorry to let people down. Um, we also got some funny inbox items. So our truth retires. Didn't even get to. Uh, didn't even get him in a match. He retired literally the, the week after I signed him. Um, hindsight's a wonderful thing. If I knew he was retired, I probably wouldn't have bothered. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Um, oh, we signed Jerry Janela. I forgot to tell you. So we're going to give him a match at some point. Try him out. Um, see if we can get Colt Cabana. Probably won't. No. Uh, a lot of the wrestlers we want to bring in just don't want to come to us because we're too small. So we've just got to keep trying to increase our popularity as quickly as possible and bring in better workers. I've um, I brought in some more female wrestlers to give them a try as well. Um, I brought in Ronda Rousey as well, but I don't. I think she's just going to be a road agent because I think she didn't want to didn't want to be a wrestler. So I'm going to see if I can try and yeah, she's color commentator or manager. I'm going to see if I'm no, nah, she don't want to know. So I'm just going to have a... I don't know she don't want to be a road agent either. Well, that's annoying. I have no use for you now. Um, what's she... A colour commentator or manager? Is she even any good as a colour commentator? Not really. Um, so I'm just going to release her. There's no point. I'd have kept her if she if she want, if she she would um, be a road agent at least. But no. Right, so... What I'm going to do for this show is I'm just going to do a lot of women's match for these show just to see um, if any of these women wrestlers I've signed are any good. So we've got a backstage incident with Joey Janela and Kane. Joey Janela was brought to wrestling court, accused of moaning about stuff all the time and bumping everybody out. Kane found the guilty sense was to shut up and cheer up and buy drinks for everyone. <laughs> That's quite funny. Uh, might have to get rid of Joey Janela if he carries on being a miserable sod. Right. Then. So, like I said, we'll do do ten way singles. Uh, we'll have females. So we've got a few. We haven't got loads to choose from, but we've brought in a few. So it's probably a good idea to try them out. Uh, Candy Cartwright, I think we've had her before, I think, from what I remember. Jenny Rose, Jokey, Kamikaze Kane. So we've got three Canes now. We've got, we've got, sorry, Camellia Kane. I apologize, not Kamikaze Kane. Um, we've got Kane, Blue Kane, and Camellia Kane. Right, so then we've got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, eight, nine. So we'll do a nine way match after this one. Um, I'll do that. And then what we'll do is we'll do a nine way match now. And we'll just put the, the other women in there. So exclude. Okay, so we've got, uh, starts from here, doesn't it? Uh, Manami. This, this episode of Afterburn is going to be basically a, just like a throwaway show, just, just to see who we can get in here. Um, if you can hear someone talking in the background, that's my... Um, my girlfriend talking to the dog. <laughs> right. That's that. That's that. We'll do that. Let's we'll see how they get on. Um, we've got we've done 40 minutes. We've got to do... We've got to do a few angles, to be honest. Um, we've got probably no time for any main events. So I'm just going to do a Levi Muir. 
um, microphone. We'll put our truth in there, entertainment, see what happens there. Put that in between the two women's matches. And then we'll do Blue Kane fighting Shea Persa. Oh. Shea Persa. And then we'll do Selling. And then we'll have Kane Entertainment. Entertainment? Yeah. Right. Um, we've got. If we've got 13 minutes left, we can do a match for 13 minutes match. So what we'll do is might as well do an all women's match, haven't we? All women's show. So what we'll do is we'll do Ginny versus Kaylee Ray as the main event. 13 minutes. We'll leave it. Leave the AI to decide who wins. Oh, we've gone over. Ah. Oh. Okay, hold on then. 10 minutes, there you go. Right, we are good to go. So, let's have a look at these women wrestlers. I think anything above 70, we're, we're laughing. So, unfortunately, none of these work women's wrestlers are any good. Uh, they're all rubbish. Maybe it's because of the style of match they're in. But, yeah, not good at all. We'll probably have to get rid of them when we finish the show. Uh, the angles did okay for what they were. Right, 66. So, Sky Smitten, Smitson, sorry, is decent. But the rest are rubbish. So, we'll just keep Sky Smitson and get rid of the rest. And then, oh, look at this. Only 10 minutes and it got a 90 rating. Um, 90 for Ginny, 89 for Kaylee Ray. Fair play. Ginny has won the women's title uh, again. I think she's a three times women's champion now. Increased her popularity in one region, 78 rating, 111 people. Not bad for a, basically a throwaway show. So yeah, so what I'm going to do offline is get rid of a lot of them new women's workers. Um, the search continues. If you can let me know in the comment section of any women's wrestlers that you think are... Um, that would come to Fight Club Pro that would be good. Please let me know. But yeah, anyway, right. I'll be back in a minute with the next show. Right, we're back for the big event of the episode, Big Strong Boys. Um, we're just going to try and put on the best, best show we can do, really. So we're going to start. I think what we're going to do is start the show with Levi Moore and we're going to have him against uh, maybe Joseph Connors I don't know. let's have a think I want him to go against the major star and win so we're going to sacrifice Mark Briscoe there we go Mark Briscoe 15 minutes Levi Moore wins or Mark Briscoe is not happy, but it is what it is. And we'll do Levi Moore, microphone, Mark Briscoe, microphone. Um, do that before that. Um, what we'll do then actually is we'll do... Um, we'll do Blue Cane versus Shea Purser. Well, we'll do that. Love that as the opening match because it won't... It won't affect the because I got told ages ago that the opening match doesn't affect. It's like a free pass, so if it's not a very good match, it's uh, I'm gonna script it though. If it's not a very good match, it won't affect the show rating. So hopefully that'll be good. Um, we've got to change the road agent. Oh yeah, I brought in Mickey James as a road agent as well. Uh, who do we have? Um, here we go. Oh, and Jason Jordan. So we'll give Jason Jordan a try. See if he can put on a good match here. Referee cannot be okay. Right. And then we'll do a post match beat down to mark the end of the tag team of kamikaze. Um I don't have faces and heels. Everybody like it's everybody's uh 
a tweener, whatever they call, so they can play whatever role. It just makes it easier. Um, but yeah, so that's that one done. And then what we did now is do a women's match. Do Ginny. This is Kaylee Ray. And yeah, actually, we'll do a different match with them. We'll do a. Let's do one on one match. <laughs> Book naked, no. Bra and panties, no. Don't worry, I'm not a pervert. I'm not going to do that. Um, do a, should we do a ladder match? Ah, no, we'll do an Iron Man match. This might end up not being a good idea, but we'll see. Um, if we do open match, um, we'll try. Hmm, do I do steal the show? We do storytelling. Storytelling, and what we'll do is we'll do a slow build. It might. I don't know whether this will work out well, but we'll give it a go. So that's that then, and then we'll do an angle with them on the mic before the match. All right, we've got to remember to script them. Script, script, there we go. Right, so we've done, we've got, we've done 84 minutes so far. We've got another 100 minutes to play with. Do the tag title match now. We'll do Rampage and Ashton Smith. Um, who do we have? The colons, maybe? Put the colons in there. That was stupid, wasn't it? There we go. Uh, Ashton and Rampage retain it. And then what we'll do now is just do a couple of one on one matches with our best workers. We'll do Calvin Tankman versus Cara Noir. Um, we'll do Kid Lycos 2 versus. Um, who do we have against Joseph Connors? They haven't. They, I know they've wrestled quite a bit in singles matches before, but we have seventeen minutes for that. Right, how long we got left? Still got fifty-five minutes left. Sorry, something's happened here. Hold on. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, right. So we've got to do. Well, we've got two more matches. We'll do an angle first for Kid Lycos. Selling Joseph Connors, fighting, so we'll do like a post match beatdown, keeps them happy. And then, so we've got 43 minutes left. We're gonna do two matches now. We'll do that, Let's see who else we've got. Uh, Lane Buzzard, he's a pretty good worker. Kelly Six is pretty good. I'll see if there's anything bloody else that stands out because I've got to think about the main event as well. Nail. Yes, Thomas Billington's the champion. So who do we have him go against? Which Rich Swan maybe Nathan Mark. So yes, yeah, so we'll do we'll do Nathan Martin versus Leighton Buzzard. Um, and then the main event. How long we got left? We've got. 28 minutes left, so we can do an angle as well. So we'll do 20 minutes, 22 minutes. Um, Thomas Billington versus, I think it was Rich Swan, but let me just check. Uh, Thomas Billington versus, we've got Rich Swan, Kelly Six, or Dave Mastiff, maybe. Rick Saver, maybe. Now we'll go Rich Swan. We know what we're getting, Rich Swan. We know we're going to get a decent match. We'll do that. We'll do Steal the Show. 
open match all that match and then we'll just do an angle before that just to set it up Thomas Billington my phone and Rich Swan my phone and we'll just script these two as well Sorry, before I start the show, I've just got to move that away. My dog's in the kitchen with me. Right, let's start the show, see how we get on. So, um, angle with Levi Mule, Mark Briscoe got 49 rank, which is really good. Levi Mule worked the crowd well, so did Mark Briscoe. They had a decent-ish match. Uh, Mark Briscoe, obviously not as good as he should be in real life. I, I, I think Mark, Mark Briscoe is ama uh, an amazing wrestler. Oh, um, not happy about that. But yeah, he won me all with a 54, which is pretty good for him. Um, Blue Kane defeated Shea Purser, got a 40 rating. Blue Kane got a 44 rating. Blue Kane's really off his game. Um, we should have picked a better road agent, I think. Uh, Angle afterwards got a 43. And then um, Angle with the women got a 58. The match got an 85. So that's pretty good. Considering it's an Ironman match. But yeah, they did really well. Uh, Kaylee Ray, not so much. Kaylee Ray, see, the, the women, are, they, they keep swapping the belts at the moment. There's no, no one's keeping it, which is which is pretty good, actually, because all the other titles are getting uh, successfully defended all the time. I mean, for instance, PODs made defense number nine now. So it's nice to have one title that just goes back and forth. Um, it kind of adds to the... I haven't done a storyline with Kaylee Ray or Ginny, but it kind of adds to that where they keep swapping the titles around. But yeah, I don't think anybody's been the women's champion other than Ginny and Kaylee Ray. I could be wrong on that one. Um, the tag team match got a 74 rating. The colon's not very good. I think I might get rid of them, to be honest. Calvin Tankman um, lost to Cara Noir. They didn't do as well as I was hoping for because Jason Jordan. We need to make sure Jason Jordan's not in, not road agent any of the other one matches. Uh, let's just check these. We don't need to check angles. Angles aren't that bob are that important. No, that's fine. Right. So Kid like us defeating Joseph Connors. Every, a lot of wrestlers seem to be winning by submission, which is annoying. Uh, we could have done. We could have had better. Could have come. I'm gonna to have to replace Buddy Ray as color commentator. I think. Uh, Kid Lycos got an 84. Joseph, 85. Sorry, Joseph Connor's got an 84, which is pretty good. The angle afterwards got a 70 rating, which is actually probably one of the best angles we've ever done. Um, Nathan Martin defeated Leighton Buzzard got a 79 rating again by submission. It's very boring. The same finishes all the time. Nathan Martin got a 76. Leighton Buzz have got a 74, so they're pretty good mid-card options, I suppose. Angle with Thomas Billington's Rich Swan got a 62. The match got an 84, which was really good. Thomas Billington, by submission, I wish they stopped with this submission. Um, 78 rating for Billington, 71 for Rich Swan. Maybe Rich Swan was a bit underperformed. Usually gets 80. But we got an 80 rating for the show, which was really good. Increased our popularity in 56 regions, and we got 250. 30 people, which is the best we've done. Um, we'll do that one, and then Ginny and Katie Ray. Right, there we go. They're happy with the speeches. So um, it's not too bad. It was a pretty good event to end the episode. Um, I'm sorry this episode has been all over the place and that a um, bit confusing in places but I think like moving forward it's gonna we're gonna have episodes where it's a bit all over the place until we can get to a certain popularity where we can attract the best wrestlers in the world we are gonna get moments like this where we're gonna constantly have to bring in different wrestlers because our best wrestlers are getting pinched by the bigger promotions out there but yeah it's not too bad uh, Jody Fleisch divorces. Big strong boys were shown last night. We got a uh, 0.01 TV rating, 3,900 viewers with 
what I'll all together so that's not too bad. Um just have a look how how much it's increased. No, it's not increased the prestige or the momentum, but that'll probably change next uh at the start of February. It will probably encourage that. So yeah, so not too bad at all. I'm just gonna save this before I forget. Um but yeah. Thank you as always, and I'll be back on Wednesday with another episode. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. All the best. Bye.